What's going on fellow farmers? CJ Farms here. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Land right here on FS22. If you want to become a fellow farmer, click that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and ring that bell. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get your hands on some amazing and awesome giant software gear, be sure to check out the links in the description with the blue diamonds beside it. Not only will you get some amazing giant software stuff, but you will also help support the CJ Farms YouTube channel. That being said, let's get on with the video. guys so welcome back to no man's land this is going to be day 24 and this is how we're starting out the episode uh so i was turning around my rock picker here my rocker picker thingy upper and i flipped the tractor as you can see we are upside down and uh i'm gonna crawl out of this let me crawl out um what we're gonna have to do is we're going to go get the front loader i i, I flipped the whole thing over guys we're gonna have to go get the front loader we do have another rocker picker thingy upper on the field here finishing this up as you guys can see, there is still quite a bit to finish. Um, but the, the 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 cool thing right now, guys, the best thing about this episode is that all the other fields are done fully prepping. They're fully prepped, and we can now focus on prepping this field. And once everything is prepped, once it's all prepped and done and said and done, uh, we can then get to planting. And we're going to plant on all of these fields. So one, two, three, four um five we're gonna plan on all five fields at the same time let me get my hood back on for you guys let's drop down here and uh let's go over here and grab our front loader uh but i hope you guys are enjoying these these episodes um i would like to know if you guys would like to see more what would you like to see more of videos like this or time lapse because i know there's a lot of time lapse fans out there um who love to watch time lapse videos uh we're gonna have to drop this bucket over here and the weight on the back of this is going to help us tremendously when picking that tractor up so and and we may only have to bump it so um, that may be the only thing we have to do so let's go ahead and drop that right there and we're going to grab this pallet fork right here and try to use that to maybe get the tractor to tip up let's go ahead and pull it up and we are gonna pull right through this way. I love this cab suspension, man, I love it. I love that cab suspension, I love it so much. So we're gonna make our way back over to the end of the field here and uh, try to get this tractor back up on its wheels. Um, so, so like I said, so what happened was I was getting my, um, my worker had already started on his part of the field and I was gonna, are you joking me? Surely we can get this tractor back up on his feet. You have got to be joking me. Cause I do not have another front loader to, oh, oh my gosh. How does this all happen in one day? Okay, get the front loader up. Maybe that'll give it some weight. Let's pull the weight up and uh, pull the weight down in the back. Oh my gosh, guys, we are in a terrible, terrible bind right now. I cannot get this thing to swing back up. And let's pray that I don't flip this one. Um, so I don't want to flip this one. So see how easily they are to flip. They're so easy. I don't know what's made them so easy to turn over here lately. I think it's the, I think it might have been a mod I installed. Oh, speaking of that, guys. I, the other day when we couldn't sell our eggs and our honey, I did figure out what the issue was. Um, there was a mod installed into the game that was causing some kind of conflict with that auto load. But the auto load is working. We can now sell our eggs and honey again. I'm so thankful for that because I was really worried. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to just bump this and kind of 
shove it back over maybe. Hopefully that was gonna work, but. We got the two tractors flipped back up right side, but whatever mod I have recently put into my game makes these tractors want to tip over at just a slip of a dime. Um, the only thing I got left to flip back over is my rocker picky thingy upper. So we're going to flip this back over. And I don't want to spend the whole episode trying to do this stuff, but you know, Sometimes you run into things like this and you got to do what you got to do. It, it, it just it just unfortunately is what it is. And there we go. We got it back over. All right, so let's... Um, now, I don't know why they're wanting to tip so easily. I've, I'm not... Unless it's just something I haven't noticed and I'm just... I just drive my tractors carefully, but... Um, I don't know what it is, but you can just... I mean, normally I just barely turn my tractors, I guess, but... There is times I know I've for, for indeed, for a fact, made sharp, very sharp turns uh, going at a very high rate of speed, especially with these extreme packs made by Falcor. Um, and I don't know why they haven't tipped over before, so I gotta look through my mods and see what it's causing my vehicle to tip over. And not that I'm gonna uninstall the mod, but maybe adjust a little bit to where it's not as finicky with the tractors. Cause I don't like the fact that my tractors wanna tip over that easy. And that's just, I mean, that's realistic for you. In real life, when you're driving one of these big machines, <clears throat> as I have drove big tractors like this many, many times, um, in real life, these tractors, it doesn't take much to tip them over. However, at the same time that this makes any sense at all, it still takes a lot to tip them over because they're not really top heavy. Tractors are made to be bottom heavy. They're not made to flip over. Um, so I, I'm not too sure what the deal is with that let's go back out to the uh, field here we're going to grab this tractor and bring it back as we do need this one back over on the field um we're going to take this one back over and put hook it back up to the rocker picking thing up i believe that our other guy there might be full um so we'll find out here but i'm going to take him back over. we're going to get him started on the other part of the field now he might have already gotten a vast majority of the rocks that needed to be picked up to begin with, but we want to make sure, now see that guy's how it wants to tip? We want to make sure we're going nice and easy, especially when we make our turns like this. That's what got me in trouble to begin with. I came out off the field, so I meant to tell you guys what was happening. I came out off the field to make a turn, as you guys can see as I was doing, and the entire thing just flipped over on me. Uh, so the debris me crusher here. and selling them there. So let's go ahead and dump these rocks out right here. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I hope you guys are having a great week. And that you all are happy and where you want to be in life. And that you're in a consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. As it's always good to do that. Let's go ahead and clean that up real quick. And we're going to park this back up here. And then we'll go back out and grab the other guy and bring him on in. Um, as we do park these right here. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about our harvest, guys. I'm excited about planting. Uh, we are gonna do all corn now. I might put a, I might put a poll up, um, so you guys can vote to see what we're gonna plant. Um, I might do that. I might just put up a poll and see what you guys think we should plant, and I'll put a few options there like corn, wheat, uh, you know, barley, canola, yeah, you know, stuff like that. I'll put I'll put the common fruit the fruit types in there for you, uh, so you guys have something to work with and something to vote from. Let's go ahead and park that there. Let's head back out to the field. And let's grab our other tractor here with the rocker picking thing upper. And we are done with this part, guys. So we can go ahead and fold this up. This has also got 49% rock into this one does. Let's go ahead and clean it up real quick. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get these rocks dumped out i'm going to get a plow hooked up to to one of these tractors bring it back out of the field get him going and then once i do um i'll bring you guys back in the video so you guys can uh be here as we take okay the so we got the plow going uh we got all of our tractors our other tractors put up 
I went ahead and paused the game for a second. Well, not pause it, but but um, yeah, I did pause the game for a minute. I'm sorry, I did pause the game for a minute. And went ahead and posted that poll. I'm going to leave the poll up for 24 hours, as it says in the in the caption of the poll. I'm going to leave it up for 24 hours. Um, after that, I will read the results, take it down, and I will go by what you guys say. So the poll is, what are we going to plant on five fields? Okay. What are we going to plant on five fields? There we go. Got that. I don't think we have any eggs to take off. I don't think we do. I can check. Um, we have... I mean, we'll go ahead and grab it. It's not much, but we'll go ahead and grab this one pallet of eggs that we have, which is not even a full pallet. Let me release that. We'll get that one. And then let's go ahead and check and see if we have any wool, which I doubt we do. Again, if we do, we'll take it. Even if it is just a little bit, we'll go ahead and take it off. Yeah, we do have just a little bit right there. Let's pull up here. And let's take this on down to the uh, the bakery. Or the, I mean, not, not the bakery, I'm sorry guys, the farmer's market. And it's not gonna sell for much, but it's something. Um, so let's go ahead and let's head down to the the baker, I mean the farmer's market. I don't know why you want to call it the bakery, so. Alright, so we're gonna pull in now. We should have no issues selling it this time. There should be zero issues. It should sell automatically. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be seriously upset. Okay, there it goes. Thank God. Alright, so we made five, almost five thousand dollars off of that. Just a couple hundred dollars shy of being uh well about fifty dollars shy of being five thousand. Um so we're gonna take this back to the farm. I just don't know why my vehicles are wanting to tip so easily. I don't understand it. I have to figure out what mod that is that is doing that to the... As you guys um, can see, uh, we're going to have a beautiful field, man. And whatever we decide to plant, whatever it is that you guys vote on, and whatever it is that we plant in the long run of this process, it's, it's going to turn out to be awesome. Um, and that's, you know, I love that you guys get to participate in that. I think it's cool that YouTube allows us to create polls like that you know, or subscriber only live streams or subscriber, you know, members only videos. I think that's cool that YouTube allows that so we can have personal engagement with those who purchase a membership or those who are a subscriber or those who want to see the polls, you know. Um, it's it, it's really cool how that allows because there's one if there's one thing I love is an engagement with my audience. I love to talk to my audience. Um, and for those who know me, know that about me. Um, it's just one of the things I love doing. Let's go ahead and I want to make sure it's always it's always better to be over too far than not far enough. And I don't think I ran that line completely straight, so I'm going to start it about right in here. I want to make sure that's all the way over. Let's drop it down. Let's get him going. And we're going to get a worker on this part. And let him finish. As you guys can see, it's going to take him a little bit to get this field plowed. Um, let me see where he's actually at over here. Let's fly up a little bit and see how much. Now, see, see how long it's taking him to just get a few rows done here, guys. It's taken a bit. And did he miss a spot? Did he really? Okay, no, he. Okay, no, he didn't. No, he did. I thought he did. My, my bad. My mistake. Now let's check the edges. The edges, I think, look good because I did the edges. But again, you know, we all make mistakes and it can happen. So it looks like everything is good. It looks like these guys are going to get the job done. Uh, with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of No Man's Land. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click all so you know exactly when I post new content just like this. And when I go live. As we do live streams on Mondays and Tuesdays here on CG Farms at 6 o'clock Central Center Time. We, we live stream from 6 to 8. CST and 7 to 9 EST. Uh, with that being said, guys and girls, thank you for everything you do. Uh, we are almost at 2K subs over here on CJ Farms. We are pretty much less than 100 subscribers away from that goal. And I just want to tell you guys that when I when I put this channel up last year, um, you know, I, I love farming. Uh, LSPFR and Farm Sim is two of my favorite games. Uh, and I get to play both of those games every single day and mess with those games every single day um, because of you. Um, again, guys, none of this would be possible 
without your subscription, without your love, and without your support, I would not be doing this. So again, thank you all so much for everything you do. Thank you for those who push the subscribe button. And again, if you're new, subscribe. Um, we're always, we're like a big family here. You know, we're like a huge family. And if you come to the live streams, I will talk to you. I talk to everybody that comes to my live streams. I always try to talk to everyone in the live streams. With that being said, guys and girls, until next time, stay safe, stay awesome, and be humble. I will see you all in the next video. God bless you all. Take care, guys.